Hey, Daniel Corey here. I'm on the floor at NAM 2020 and I'm uh, talking to the folks at Tonewood Amps. And uh, basically what the Tonewood Amp is, it uh, attaches to the back of your acoustic guitar. It's an effects unit. So um, it attaches here and you can play the guitar without having to plug into an external amplifier and the effects come right out of the sound hole. We'll just... play a little more we'll cycle through some of the effects but first I want to talk to Dave Arnold here um, uh, thanks for uh, talking to me here uh, today Dave yeah, um, happy to. we're in the whisper booth it's a little tight but we had to hide from some of the noise of NAM and it's a very noisy show noisy show yes yeah <laughs> yeah it's a sweet escape in here for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um, first of all tell me um, about how you how you came to work for the company are, are you the co-creator of the device or are you uh, what do you no, do exactly? no Ofer Webman he's mm -hmm. the inventor okay. uh, he pretty much invented it in his garage and okay. after a couple years of tinkering with prototypes this was the final result in mm -hmm. uh, end of 2015 is mm -hmm. when we first started shipping them out and I came on shortly after mm -hmm. uh, started out handling support and then you know working up to uh, just up to updating it trying to make it better and make mm -hmm. sure we can keep building them very cool mm -hmm. that's a it's a very it's a very neat idea uh, i mean how did the idea come about do you uh what he, do you have any thoughts on that? he was screwing around just with one of those little stick-on speakers and mm -hmm. i think he stuck it on a guitar and then it kind of sparked an idea and he's got such a, a creative mindset about things mm -hmm. that you know once he started with it he wouldn't stop until he had mm -hmm. something exactly like what we're looking at yeah it's very very nice and um, what are you uh, what are you accomplishing this year at the show at at, uh, at Nam? Uh, we're just trying to spread more awareness, you know, mm -hmm. get some more stores stocking and selling them. Mm -hmm. uh, but mainly, you know, it's such a unique item, so we really just want to give people a good opportunity to try it out in ideal settings mm -hmm. and you know with it properly positioned mm -hmm. and and dialed in right because it's. Mm -hmm. In my experience, most people don't have anything else to compare it to, mm -hmm. and so it, it takes them a minute to kind of wrap their head around right. what all it actually does. Yes, yeah, just explaining the, the concept yeah. uh, is uh, at this point a challenge. You're because you're 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 very ahead of the game. I mean, mm -hmm. nobody else is doing anything like this. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that is that is a bit of a challenge. I know, like myself, I've I've worked a lot in publishing. And when I, I, uh, I stepped a toe into the VR world and we did a, uh, a virtual reality comic and that took mm -hmm. a minute to just explain to people what it is to get and to get them to try it. So exactly, I understand yeah. what that's like to kind of be a little bit ahead of the curve. Uh, it's, it's an interesting place to be. Everybody wants to, to compare it to something that's already there mm -hmm. and there's not really anything to compare it to. So right, it's, exactly. you got to just put it in their hands and let them try it. Right, exactly right. Now you're having a lot of great artists at your booth, and yesterday I was here uh, to see uh, Andy McKee play mm -hmm. with some of his friends. I'm a big fan of his, so yeah. that was very exciting. And I got a, I got an interview with him, so I'll be posting nice. that and linking to you guys. Awesome. Um, so that's very cool. But uh, tell us about uh, some of the artists that you're working with and uh, who's wow. using it. I feel like we got some of the best guys. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, Andy McKee, he, he came on as a backer when we were still on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Nice. And they they saw his name and they were like, wait a minute. Yeah. And so <laughs> they they worked that into you mm -hmm. know having him as an artist and mm -hmm. he kind of put the the bug in people's ear about it. So we ended up nice. getting Mike Dawes and Callum Graham, Trevor Gordon Hall. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I mean just the kids sitting over there now, Colin Hill and uh, Connor Thomas. They're both great mm -hmm. great guitar players. So it's really big in the finger style community and mm -hmm. we're getting some more uh like jazzy style players starting mm -hmm. to use it now and flamenco guys like jesse cook from canada he's a nice. classical player and mm -hmm. he's using it on nylon strings we've got one of my favorites is uh jank erdogan he's from mm -hmm. uh turkey mm -hmm. or istanbul i'm not totally sure but mm -hmm. he plays fretless nylon with it mm -hmm. and we got people wow. using it on bass it's it's oh, super neat. expansive. It kind of yeah. fits every category, and there's, to my knowledge, not any big artists out there that aren't thrilled with it. Uh, yeah, that's great. I mean, it's because it's a very innovative idea. And like when you say you have some people playing well, on a fretless guitar and playing it on a bass, then 
people are inspired to be innovative themselves with the device. Exactly. Sometimes. Yeah, you, know. you can get pretty weird with it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, um, in addition to um, being able to play it dry, um, or not dry, but you know, just coming out of the sound hole, you can plug it in the device into a PA system and just and use it as a kind of a standard effects unit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Once you plug it into the output jack on the back, mm -hmm. it just goes right to your amp or PA, and then mm -hmm. you get the the blend options. That's your wet dry mix, mm -hmm. and then you get an output volume to the amp, and then. Mm -hmm. I just say set the volume low on the tone wood amp and then run it out to a amp or PA and just takes like five seconds to dial in. Sound guys love it. So cool. Yeah, I've um, I've uh, I've actually checked out some reviews of this online and everybody um, has basically said they were a little nervous about installing it, but that it, w it was not difficult to do to install. Yeah. 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 The first time definitely is very scary. Even for me, my first time, I installed it and two days later my brace fell. Mm -hmm. So going back in that second time, um, it you know you have a better perspective of it that second mm -hmm. time. You kind of know where it works, where you position it matters, mm -hmm. and how you set the gain structures mm -hmm. between your pickup and the tone wood amp. All that mm -hmm. stuff matters. So it's not something you can just throw it on there and, and expect mm -hmm. great results. It it takes a few minutes to get everything oh, set. Okay. Cool. Yeah, because it's, it's 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 part of the. You know, it's part of it becomes part of the instrument. It does. So yeah, it's absolutely. kind of a calibration. Imagine of, yeah. I, I compare it to having a Les Paul in front of Marshall 412 and you're standing in front of the amp facing it playing and like you're trying to find that spot where it's yeah. just right without right. screaming at you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, um, why don't we uh, cycle through and, uh, you know, show the, the listeners here um, a little bit what it can do. So right now we're, um, we're on delay. So the first three effects are going to be reverbs, hall, mm -hmm. room, and plate. Okay. So on the back here, you just use the uh, the effects knob. Okay. And that's going to allow you to cycle through. Okay. You got your screen here showing you uh, what you're working with. This middle knob here is going to be how you dial everything in. So you can click through. Mm -hmm. Set all adjust, the levels. Set, yeah. all, set all your parameters for your effect. Mm -hmm. And your levels are adjusted here from the amplitude knob. Okay. You got gain and volume okay and that's going to be per every effect so if you want a different gain structure for one reverb than the other you can dial that in all right cool so we got paul here yeah just that sustain it's just so nice and full such a nice full sound yeah. And uh, let's see, I'll dial over to, let's see what we got here. Room. All right, so let's try room. Cool. All right. Yeah, just listen to that. So you can set <laughs> even a ridiculous decay on it. Yeah, let's do that just so we to can like really max, hear it. Yeah, just to max it out for demo purposes. Mm -hmm. This is maxed out. So we got the volume way up here. <laughs> section uh, following you along here. Uh, funny you mentioned that. You can take advantage of some virtual MIDI stuff with oh, an yeah. iPhone. And it's where you convert pitch to MIDI and then sample it back as cello, bass, drums, voice. I mean, you name it. You, oh, me. It just takes two yeah. apps to do that. Okay, so you, so it can so act you as can, a, yeah. you can play and yeah. have an orchestra follow along, match your every note. Oh, nice. Yeah. So... Delays that next one. All right. Yeah. So this is what you were talking about before. It's got that rotary speaker type of. So uh, that that would know. actually be the next one, which would be Leslie. So you okay. get a bit of a trim plus a delay on that. And any any 
the effects that are time-based, like delay or Leslie, where you can control the rate of the rotation, mm -hmm. that's all adjustable on the tone of the amp. Okay. Wonderful. All right, so you got a lot of effects and you got a lot of different parameters you can adjust. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems like there's, you know, there's hundreds of things you could do with this yeah. to uh, create new sounds. So absolutely wonderful. Okay, great. Well, um, I know you guys are busy, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go now. But um, I mean, I could sit here for the next hour playing, but I won't keep you. But um, thank you so much for doing this, and um, you know, good luck uh, for you for the rest of the show here, Thanks, for the rest Dan. of the year. And all right, so this is uh, Daniel Corey from Danger Cat Central here, uh, 2020 Nam on the floor talking to Tonewood Amps, and uh, catch you around.